Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is a fine and glorious day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad. And we will. We will. And, you know, we say that every day, but we, uh, we're, we're, uh, when we have scriptures that we say often, we never want to be in this rote repetition mode where we just say the words out of habit. Uh, we want to think about what that means, and this is the day that the Lord has made. Regardless of circumstance, regardless of everything that's going on in the world, this is the day he made for us, and we will rejoice and be glad. In it. Yes, we will. All right. Um, so Thursday, June 22nd, 2023, I have today off. Yeah, we're both very tired from him working this third shift. Second shift. Second. Yeah. It's still one in the morning. Yeah, so we get off at one in the morning. Good morning, Sandra. And uh, get up at uh, Five, six o'clock. Six. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be six o'clock. Sometimes <laughs> it's 5.30. And, you know, you're, when you're used to getting up at 5.30, sometimes it just kicks in, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to catch afternoon naps, uh, kind of tomorrow I'll work days. It's a lot easier to go from from that shift on, back on to days than it was yeah. going uh, from days on to evenings. So. Good morning. All right. Um, so the title of the devotion this morning is I Will Take You Deeper. Oh, I <laughs> read it out of book. Okay. So, uh, we have a couple scriptures. The one that the author recommends is Second Timothy one six through nine, and we're also going to read Philippians four eleven through thirteen, or however far we go. Okay. You want to pray? Yes. Right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for this time together. Uh, bring us into fellowship with you and with each other. Uh, we thank you for this uh, opportunity to talk about your word, to meditate on your word, uh, to learn more about your word and, and more about you, Lord. And we thank you and we ask your spirit on us and touch us. Lead, guide, and correct us, Lord. We thank you. In the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. My pages are kind of, I don't know if it's you it all here. Or... No, no. But My Bible just opens up right to the page when I open it up. Right up to <laughs> Philippians. My God. So, it has gone in my head. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Excellent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally, it's like it's around Thessalonians or next to it, next door. Anyway, um, I will take you deeper. So um, I'm going to read this first and then read the all scriptures. Right. All right? Yep. Sound good. I'm going to take a drink of water. We apologize if we got background fan noise, but it's really hot and humid. And yep. I was going to try to go without it, but I just can't. So. Tune your hearing aid up or your volume or whatever and ignore the background. I can't change my hearing aid. It's on my phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, come deeper into my victorious love that overcomes all things. You will be wrapped in my presence when you embrace my love. Others may see this love as weakness or may not understand this righteous path, but love will come become a virtue burning light within your soul I will enable you to endure all things to draw from my strength within you love never fails come deeper into my never failing love and you will discover the path of true holiness this deeper place of love is overflowing with treasure of glory that cannot be interpreted within by natural wisdom your eyes will open and you will see your troubles much differently. Four, your difficulties and invitations to a more powerful truth. 
When you have reached the end of the hoarded resources, my love will bring you miracles. Love will open your heart to others. You will see them as opportunities to demonstrate greater love, compassion. My true, pure compassion will flow through you with the breakthrough of power. I release to you a deeper, more powerful love. Yes, yeah, Sandra, no matter what, he does love us. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And loves us with the perfect love. Yes. Right. Unfailing love. Right. It doesn't change. Regardless of circumstances, regardless of what we might do, Yeah. Uh, God still loves us, and he desires every one of us to come to the knowledge of him. He, he doesn't want anybody to perish. He doesn't mm -hmm. want to have to send anybody away uh, into perdition as it says yeah. in the King James. It's an unconditional love. Right. That he has. Should we read the scriptures? Too? Yeah. We'll, we'll read uh, Second Timothy. We're going to read Second Timothy two twelve. No, we're not. We're going to read, read one, uh, six, six through nine. <laughs> First Second Timothy one through six through nine. Good morning, Chrissy. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is thee, by putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but... Has not given us a spirit yes, of fear. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. And you know... When we read that, a lot of times we, we hear the power and we hear the sound mind, and those are good. We should read them in there, but uh, love is in the center of that, and His perfect love is what gives us power, mm -hmm. uh, what gives us strength, what gives us the sound mind. Be not there, therefore, ashamed mm -hmm. of the testimony of our Lord, nor me, His prisoner, but... Be thou partakers of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which is given to us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Yes, his grace. His grace. Not just his mercy, his grace. The ability to do things that in and of ourselves we can't even imagine. Yeah, that's so cool, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, we're going to read um, Philippians. Philippians 4, 11 through 13, and it ends with, I can do things, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. However, uh, we want to pay attention to the verses before that. Rejoice in the Lord always. And, and again, again, I, I say, say rejoice. rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing but everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Did you need me to read the next one too? Yeah, we want to do 11. Oh, well, I like that one, too. I like that, too, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's so not the one that's that on like my shirt. four through something like that? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it again. That was, that was I, I apologize. No, what, that I'm was gonna write that down. four, four. So four, four, through six. six. Maybe maybe we needed to hear that. Yeah. So right. and then well, that we're means gonna four, read 11, 11 through 13. Because <laughs> it, it kind of all dovetails, and really well, you could read all of chapter, chapter four, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Okay, 4.11, Philippians 4.11 says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in what, whosoever, whatever state I'm in, therewith and be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to be abound. And where in all things I'm instructed both in full, to be hungry, both abound, and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which gives me strength. Right. So All things. You can do all things. And I can live, really what that's saying is I can live through all circumstances. Mm -hmm. And 
Paul went through some circumstances. Yeah, he did. Uh, both good and bad. He, uh, you know, he uh, had times where he was without want, and he had times when he didn't have enough to eat. When he was in mm-hmm. prison. Uh, you can read it in the scriptures, the things that Paul went through, how many times he was beaten, thrown in jail, mm-hmm. left for dead, uh, and uh, shipwrecked, and it goes on. Uh, but uh, he knew where his true power was. Mm-hmm. Through his weakness, we talked about yesterday, through his weakness we are made strong. Yes. Well, through those circumstances, we learn to rely not on ourselves, but to rely on the Father. Yes. And to rely on the Son, Jesus, and to rely on the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. To give us instruction, direction. And when we talk about uh, God, we're talking about all three in one. Yeah. So... Morning, Tracy. Let's get back to it. So I will take you deeper. Mm-hmm. And it, it all points to love. Mm-hmm. Right? That's what we get strength from. Aw. Aw. Okay. Good morning, Bonnie. Okay, bye. Um, Sandra says, Philippians 4.13 is my favorite scripture, and I've had to live that for the last few years. That one, uh, We I have a shower curtain, and that okay. one and 11... Are yeah. on my shower curtain as well. Good morning, honey. So, morning, Tracy. Yeah. All right. So we're uh, we're talking about uh, going deeper. Going deeper. Uh, well, let's get back to Timothy here. Uh, okay. Uh, we were not given a spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. A power and a sound mind. Power. Love. Love and a sound, sound mind. mind. Cheryl wrote here. No <laughs> fear. No fear. <laughs> no fear, but power, power love, love, and a sound, sound mind. mind. And, and we're talking about God's perfect love. And that the other scripture out of Philippians is talking about God's perfect peace. Mm-hmm. And not peace as the world knows. Not, you know, not just. We'll, we'll, we'll agree to get along, but but that love-based, perfect peace, which mm-hmm. uh, the word says uh, that passes all understanding. In other words, where where there, there really should be no peace, uh, the Lord can show us peace, can give us peace. Yeah, He can. He sure can. Honey. You know, um, in this day and age. Everything is up in arms every single day, you know. You are walking through a gro- the grocery store and you're looking at a product and somebody thinks you're looking at them wrongly and they get an attitude. And it's like, you know, everybody is living on, not everybody, but in the world, the world yes. is living on pins and needles with a different ideology, different beliefs, um, different things that is not of God. And so we have to, as Christians, stay our minds on the Lord because we are human and can be easily persuaded or swayed, I guess you could say. If you do not know the Word of God, Somebody on TV or somebody could say, this is what the Word says. And if mm-hmm. you're not rooted in the Word of God and uh, using the discernment of the Holy Spirit, you can be persuaded in the wrong direction. So yeah. make sure you know your Word. Make sure you're praying. Make sure you're staying your heart and mind on Jesus. And let the Holy Spirit, if somebody says to you, such and such a thing this is what the word says please look it up you know you have to look it up there's yes. a, this um devotional we have is it uses a different bible yeah, a, a, a different, different one a different and, translation and, and sometimes i'm like let's look okay every day we're like uh, let's look it up let's study let's study to show approve right, proof, right? Um, good morning, Jim. Good morning, Nathan and Jess. So keep your heart and mind. And don't just, you know, 
take whatever mm -hmm. Bible yes. that is written, make sure you research. Yes. Make sure you know what it is. If you don't know, ask somebody who is studied and versed in the Bible. And uh, no translation is perfect, but we like the King James, and part of it is it's what we grew up with. Yeah. Um, and there's other good translations, but really, when it comes down to it, if something, if you get a check in your spirit, mm -hmm. study it out. Yeah. Uh, check it against other verses. The Bible yeah. does not conflict itself. It. Uh, it's true and correct, and so uh, whether that's some guy on TV or your own pastor, mm -hmm. you know, um, I love uh, Bishop Mike, and uh, he's rooted in the Word. But you know what? He can be wrong, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, and if those occasions come up, we talk about it. And, you know, maybe we didn't even understand his point. Uh, and, uh, the men's study we used to have, we mm -hmm. had some. Uh, bordering on intensive fellowship, uh, but it uh, it strengthened us. It strengthened each other, and uh, let us be open to. Uh, we don't want to get so wrapped up in interpretation; we're getting ourselves into it. But we need to understand the word as it was inspired by the Holy Ghost. And then, all being said, was the whole point we said all that is the way that you can go deeper. Mm -hmm. with our Heavenly Father is through His Word and prayer, right? Yes. Through His Word. Uh, through His prayer, through the Holy Spirit, and, or through uh, prayer, through the Holy Spirit, and through the Word. Mm -hmm. If you hear from God, I always say check it against the Word. If you mm -hmm. hear some guy on TV or some guy in the local pulpit... Uh, check it against the Word. Right. If, if you get a check in your spirit, uh, check it against the Word. And, and it may be 100% true. Uh, people uh, in the world uh, will quote scripture to you. Mm -hmm. And that's why you need to be rooted in the word. Mm -hmm. And you need to be able to say, no, it doesn't say that in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't be afraid says, to stand up for the word of God. Right. So many people, so many Christians, good morning, Kathy are so afraid to quote scripture or stand up for what is right. And we need to, as Christians, start standing up for what is right. Mm -hmm. and, and most times, when somebody's quoting scripture, that, and you get that check in your spirit, they're not wrong. It says mm -hmm. that in the Word, but they're, they're quoting half a scripture. Yes. You know, uh, they, don't, they don't give you the full context of what it's talking about. And... Um, the devil is a master at that. He knows that mm -hmm. word, and he knows how to use it. He tried to use it against uh, Jesus. Well, Jesus not only knew the word, Jesus was, was the, the word. word. It didn't work out he so was well the for I him. Am. Yeah. Uh, it didn't work out so well for him in that situation, but uh, but how much more so is he going to buffet us with, well, it says in the word, mm -hmm. and just know what it says and know what it means. And, right. Wow, I, I really went off on yeah, that one. Yeah, that's so, okay, babe. So that's, uh, um, yeah, we need to understand that. We need, we need to uh, to study and know what it says, but also uh, be open with our spirit. Be open to God's love so we know what it means. Mm -hmm. uh, and, all right, enough of that. <laughs> I could go on. He's starting <laughs> to preach. Today, I, I was thinking about giving examples, but we'll be yeah, here all day. Yeah. So. You know, somebody said that uh, it's really cool that you're doing your online thing. Anybody can do that. And it's like, yeah, anybody can. But remember, when you do this, on, when you do your online devotion, study what mm. you're going to talk about. It's a sermon every day. So as you prepare your sermon, your daily yeah, sermon. Call it a sermonette, if you will. Yeah, or sermonette. Make sure you pray through and make mm -hmm. sure you know what you're going to say. And and I encourage you, if you want to do that, to do that. Um, yeah, but you, it's, it's, it's not easy. No, you need to open your heart uh, to, the, to the leaning of the Holy Spirit. Because in and of ourselves, uh, we couldn't do this. Yeah. Uh, and that's when we know we're led by God. Yeah. Study to show thyself approved. You're right, Chrissy. Even though she said 
Yeah, I spell check yeah. or help them, <laughs> Danny them does too. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. So, so, so yes, we want to study the word, but more so we want to know the word. We want to store it deep down yep. in heart in our hearts. It says in the word that the Holy Spirit will bring these things to our remembrance. Well if we haven't stored them up in our our heart, if we How haven't can studied they bring them to remembrance. Right, I want them to have every word out of that scripture to be able to bring to my remembrance when I need it. Right, and when we're as we get older it's harder to bring it to remembrance. So as you're younger Yeah and study. Uh, and even as you're older. Okay, we gotta get some right. prayers. Alright. Or lose so, them, babe. Alright. So, uh, we have uh, a couple new things on the list here. Judy Thorburn's uh, brother, Harry, Harry um, for his back. he has uh, back issues. and um, Going it, through emotional issues. Yeah, it, uh, and when you have chronic pain, it wears on you. Mm -hmm. it, not just physically, it, wear, it wears on you emotionally, uh, mentally. Uh, Phyllis... Our friend Phyllis uh, from Pastor Dan's church mm -hmm. um, had a stroke. Yeah. Um, and so we need to pray for that dear prophet. Yes. And uh, she's struggling with walking and she needs assistance and they're trying to determine what to do. So please, please, please pray for her. Vicki Knotts um, is asking for peace and to have a good day. Yeah. Every day be a good day, but give her peace, yeah. Heavenly Father. Um, my cousin Jim, looking for a job still, All looking right. for that job. We're going to pray for the Oldefent family, kids, and everybody's kids. Yes. Um, Nancy, have not heard anything about her apartment yet. They're yeah. probably they? traveling back from Tennessee now. so They're on their way back? Okay. I don't know. They might be back already. They haven't heard. So hopefully she, when she gets home, she'll hear about an apartment. Tony Sanders. Yes. That poor guy. Right for his tongue. Yeah. Uh, and, and his that, shoulder. That is, uh, if you ever had that happen where you bit your tongue, even a little bit, uh, it's painful. And he had, uh, it wasn't good. So. And my brother David, I forgot to add him. He wants a uh, prayer for his arm. All right. Oh, Tracy wants prayer for relationship with her mother. And there was one, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy Schultz. Honey, you got to talk he's while I'm the, typing. Oh, he's, a, he's, he's our missionary. Yeah. And then yeah. Crossfire Assembly. Yes. Okay. And next week we'll have a, another church we're praying for. I don't know, I have one on my mind, but we'll talk about okay. it. Okay, so wow, that's a lot of prayers. So all right. let's get well. to it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for all you do for us. We come to you with some petitions and we know, Lord, that they're all in your will in mm -hmm. accordance with your word and your will. And we thank you that you are on the throne and that you answer all of these prayers in accordance with your perfect will and your perfect timing. And again, we thank you in the name of your son, Jesus. Lord, we pray for Tracy uh, Sanders, her relationship with her mom, Lord. We pray that you bind them together, Lord, that their yeses be yeses and their noes be noes, Lord. I pray that uh, you give Tracy a spirit of peace with her mom, Lord. Um, when it's an argumentative situation, Lord, I pray that you just give her peace and the right things to say and when to say them, Lord. And we pray for her husband, Tony, Lord, as uh, he has uh, hurt his tongue and his shoulder as well, Lord. Pray for healing from his head to his toes, Lord, and pray that you give him perfect peace in that as well. We pray for our brother, David, uh, that uh, that arm will continue to heal, uh, that uh, it will be made right so he's able to do what he needs to do for you, Lord. And we thank you that that healing is already bought and paid for and on the way. We pray for Robert Chucky, Lord, that them lungs are on their way, Lord. Yes. You heal his lungs, Lord. We pray that uh, they will hear quickly, Lord, uh, that he has a set of lungs on the way, Lord. We pray that you just touch him, Lord, and touch his uh, spirit and give his wife peace, Lord, as she goes through this, Lord. We pray for Harry, uh, Judy uh, Thorburn's 
uh, brother, brother-in-law, brother, um, and that he might have healing in his body mm-hmm. as you would have it, Lord. It's already bought and paid for, and that healing is coming, and strengthen his mind, strengthen his spirit, give him your peace, Lord, the peace that passes all understanding, so uh, he'll be able to deal with that circumstance and look forward to the day when there there is no pain and there is no suffering. And we thank you, Lord, that that's available to us, not just in the next life, but in this life. Lord, we pray for Vicki Knotts, Lord, give her as she goes to work today, give her, or at work now, give her a good day. Have her have peace. Have her have a good day, Lord. Make everything work out good in the uh, places she works, Lord. And pray that as she gets home, she has a good day. Give her a good weekend, Lord. Give that peace that passes all understanding. We pray for Phyllis uh, that you will touch her, continue to touch her. She knows you. She's been walking with you for years. And we thank you that... that, uh, she still has that strength regardless of circumstances Lord fix those uh, symptoms of a stroke of the stroke and uh, teach her uh, what she needs to know and find the place where she needs to be for right now and uh, just make everything come together for her Lord and we thank you We pray for Jim, Lord, Jim Wright, my cousin. We pray that you give him the job that he needs, Lord, the job that supply him and his family's needs, Lord. And we ask for a ready answer, Lord. We pray for Kathy and Carl and all their kids and all of our uh, children that, Lord, they were brought up uh, in your word and help them to remember that word. Mm -hmm. It says in your word that it will not depart from them. And uh, we thank you, Lord, that you are on the throne and that your hand is on every one of us children, all of our children. Uh, speaking of, of our children, Chrissy's uh, son, Jeremy, mm-hmm. uh, we're praying for him this week. He's a missionary in Indonesia, and we thank you that you gave him that opportunity continue to bring people across his path that need to hear your word, that need to hear the good news, not just some good news, the good news. Mm -hmm. And we thank you uh, that he has that opportunity and we ask your hand of protection upon him. We pray for Nancy as she goes home, Lord, that she will have an answer that apartment is waiting for her so she can move in July, Lord. We just love you and praise you for this answer that you already have prepared. We pray for Crossfire Assembly and Pastor Lynn. Lord, bring the people in. As as people drive by the place, uh, maybe they drive by it every day, but uh, for for whatever reason, you put it on their heart for them to stop in on a Sunday morning. And and we thank you that, uh, that you raised up that place. We ask you to bless uh, Pastor Lynn and the worship team and the whole congregation and all the ministries there. We ask all these things in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Mama. Kaz is watching. (laughs) That would be Kaz Mirziak if you... uh... Kaz Mirziak. So, yeah. So, if you guys didn't hear, if you weren't here yesterday, we're just going to babble one minute, and then we're going to get off. Um, Tom's mom. Oh, yeah, we got a couple praises from yesterday. Yeah. That's one of them. Um, her um, lung cancer, uh, the, the little ones are gone. Yep. And yep. the medium-sized one is half gone. And then yep. another one's twenty five percent gone. So so we are so praying. Tumors are shrinking. They're shrinking. And, and, and cancer is a name and must bow to the name. Yes. Like Jesus any other Christ. name. Yes. And uh, what was the other praise? Um, oh, uh, Sandra's. Sandra's. Yeah. Uh, Sandra's. Uh, prayed for her father in law to see a, a miracle. miracle. And, and it within, happened within that day. Hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
it happened that he saw a miracle and that's praise uh, god uh, you know the the specifics are private but the the praise is public that, yeah. that the lord will do what he says he will do and that's it's just amazing amazing thing what our heavenly father is doing and right. his dad tom's dad went for a scan in his stomach or is it yeah, i i want to say that uh, that that part of it is is well under control the the uh, tumors in his lungs are shrinking yes uh, prostate cancer is uh, gone not gone but but one not, of them's gone not growing yeah one of the cancers is gone he had four different cancers and uh, gone. skin cancer is an ongoing battle but yeah uh, that as long as you keep up on that yeah so we got some praise the lord right yeah yeah so we like to we like that if you if we've prayed for you and uh we like to hear absolutely the praise the lords as long along with the um uh, pray mm -hmm. and during the week you guys during the day uh as these come upon your mind pray for these needs that we have yeah as the, as the holy spirit brings them to your remembrance That's as we do let's uh let's pray for all of those uh things as they as they come up you know and, yes mama and other things uh that that he says you know you ever have the uh, i'm going to just say this real quick if you have the experience that the holy spirit tells you to pray for so and so even if you haven't talked to them in years yeah maybe they're a dear friend and uh, you don't know maybe they're going through something and yes. they need prayer or they need intercession uh we need to be there to do that yeah all right, I'll stop talking now. We'll uh, let we you got... guys get on your day. Smile right. at someone. Have a good day. We love you all. Yes. Uh, if you have a prayer request or an answer to prayer, reach out to us. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please speak the name of Jesus. Yeah. All make right? him uh, know him more and make him known. All right. Love Thank you, you guys. Bye, Bye now.